Okay, so since we're doing a general love reading, it's pretty much going to go in, let's see, the way mm -hmm. these readings go, it's going to be like the issue and then the steps and then the resolution. So the first card is stating that you've experienced some distrust and rejection in your last relationship. But it's saying that there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. So it means that things are changing for the better in your current situation. This card is stating that even though things are changing for you for the better, you should be a little bit more positive about this new change coming into your life. Now with the father sins and the daughter of baskets indicating your personality, it's showing that you're a good person, you're creative, you're intuitive, and you're wise. And the father of baskets is exemplifying the fact that you, you're an avid thinker, which means that when you put your mind to it, you're set on it. So with this new love venture that you're on, you just have to be a little bit more positive about it and really sort out what it is that you want. Now with this card, this card is like the most powerful card out of this deck. And the reason it is is because you know you're a person that's deserving of love and that's deserving of good treatment and that's deserving of fairness. It's funny how I've done a lot of readings for women especially and they always get this card. So if you ever get this card, especially if it's upright, then that's a good sign. So this is showing that out of all that you've been through, you know you deserve the best and you deserve what it is that you want. Now, the John Horse and the Bishop C.H. Mason cards are pretty much saying that you should seek a counselor or a spiritual advisor or someone that's more mature than you are and they've been where you've been and they're in a successful relationship or marriage and they can pretty much show you and guide you where to be because it appears that in your quest for love, you just need a little bit of guidance.